Hello everyone, today we're going to review how to use reflections to do mini golf problems. So let's say I have this mini golf course here and I want to bounce the golf ball G off side D, then side K, and into the hole for a hole in one. Well, we know that we always have to work backwards when we're doing these problems. So that means I need to reflect over the side K first, then side D second. I always start with the ending point H, so I'm going to reflect H over K. That's going to give me H prime. When you do this, you have to make sure that you line up your ruler really carefully. So I'm going to line up my 10 mark perfectly with the line of reflection, K, and have the edge of the ruler line up with point H. And I can see that this is about 1.6 centimeters away. So I do the same on the other side. Label that point H prime. And then include my symbols to show how I got that H prime. Okay, once I have H prime, then I'm going to use that point to do my next reflection. So I'm going to reflect H prime over the next wall, which is D. And when I reflect a prime, I'm going to get a double prime. So I'm going to again take my 10 mark, line that up nicely with the line D, or wall D. And I'm going to see that that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.5 centimeters away. So I'm going to go 7.5 centimeters away down here. And then also include my symbols. Once I have my two reflection points, then this is where I start connecting back to the start. So I want to connect G to my last reflection point, H double prime. And when I do this, I need to make sure that I create this dotted line outside of the golf course because our mini golf ball is not really traveling through the wall. It's just going to stop right here and bounce to our next reflection point, H prime. Again, it's not going to go through the wall. Rather, it will bounce right off this wall into the hole for a hole in one. So after we connected G to H double prime, we bounced off the wall to H prime. And then from this point, we bounced off the wall to H. And then lastly, make sure you draw your arrows to show the path that the ball is actually traveling. Okay, now we want to write the notation for the reflections that we've just done. So remember, the transformation that we're using here is reflections. And we show reflections by using a lowercase r. And then which line did we reflect over first? Well, we reflected over this wall k, so I put a little k. Which point did I reflect first? That was point h. And then after that reflection, I ended up with H prime. Now let's do the same thing for the reflection of H prime. This time, I reflected H prime over the line D. So instead of a K, I'm going to put a little D. And after I reflected that point, I ended up here, H double prime. Okay, do we notice anything similar about both of these notations? Well, they both have an H prime. There's a way that we can take both of these notations and write them in one step, and that's by using substitution. So I know that H prime is really the same as this, R sub K of H. 
instead of writing an h prime here, I could just substitute this so that I can have one line of notation for both of these reflections. This is known as a composite reflection. And basically this means a double reflection or a reflection of another reflection. And when we read this notation, we would say, reflect the point H over the line K first, then take that point, which we know was H prime, and reflect H prime over D to get H double prime. And that's basically what we do in these mini golf problems. We do composite reflections, which we'll practice more um, in our next lesson. Thanks for listening.